So, um, when I first heard uh, that we were coming here to do some painting and decorating, I have to be honest, I was a little bit sceptical. I thought, really, is that what people need? But the word had come that it was the residents themselves that wanted something like this. So uh, we were serving them and it seemed important that instead of them just being doled out to all the time and being disempowered, that they took some control themselves. So on the first day, uh, people said, some people came to us and said, we don't really need paint, what we need is oil, we need roofs, we need heating and all this kind of thing. And we thought maybe we were doing the wrong project. But then we brought the paints out and stuff started happening. So you can see, people started going crazy. They started painting and their creativity came out. As you come down the hallway, you can start seeing we've got our abstract artists, we've got our teenagers who've got Barcelona up on the wall. Some people have just decorated their corridors. This one was started today. Here they're writing Inofita in Greek, which is the name of the place where we are. Someone from Pakistan has drawn home. The person who drew this had never done art in their lives. They picked up a brush and just ran with it. And so I began to realize that actually this project was a lot more than about painting. This is a project which is about pride. It's about dignity. It's a project which is about home, about freedom of expression. It's a project about empowerment. It's stopping people being idle. You can see the six flags of the, of the inhabitants here. We have Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Greece, Kurdistan, Pakistan. You see there the birds of freedom. People started drawing flowers. And so, I've come to actually love this project because it's given people a kind of freedom, it's stopped them being idle. Suddenly the place is a hive of activity. And uh, it's also released a little bit of creative politi political, uh, political comment. There's been a few issues about whether or not we should put flags on, this, on these walls and whether that's nationalistic or not. Some people put the flags on and they agreed after a negotiation to remove those flags, apart from those central five or six that I showed you before. Look down this corridor, it's absolutely amazing. We've got Jackson Pollock appearing. This one is unfinished. Up on the wall. People are beginning to express themselves politically, and who knows where that's going to lead. At the same time as we're here, there's about 50, 60 doctors here from America who are doing dental treatment, and it's chaotic. A family arrived the other day, and they must have thought they'd arrived in some kind of lunatic asylum. There's people painting, the other half of people are holding onto their mouths because they're, they're in pain, because uh, they've had their teeth pulled or, or, or some other medical intervention. So it's exciting. Down this end, far end we have uh, the Kurdish element. We've got Kurdish communists living here as well and they've written some things on their walls. It's great, it's exciting, it's extraordinary. The place is transformed and I think it was an amazing project. Um, residents seem really happy. Uh, it's been hard to stop them painting. We've seen them at midnight painting and painting and painting. We've had to leave the paints out. Uh, we've come in the morning and whole walls and whole corridors have been painted. We've been to the paint shop, I don't know, six, seven times. We must have spent, I don't know how much on paint, but every time we go back, we think, okay, we buy enough for the whole project. The first time we bought enough, we thought, for four days, but within a day it had gone. The next time I, I bought some paints and it had gone within three hours. It's been an amazing project. They really ran with it. And um, I guess we're privileged and lucky to have been part of it. And the team that have been uh, doing this are incredible. We have people from everywhere in this team and we worked beautifully together. Um, so thank you for following the vlog. I think it's finished.